Hi everyone. Um, today I just want to quickly take you through what is currently going on in the country. Um, if you can recall that uh, there was um, uh, an issues that relating to uh, fake certificates that uh, some some universities as well as institutions from other parts of the African countries um, operating in Nigerians. Uh, issuing a kind of fake certificate to Nigerians um, when they go through one or two courses. The, the most shocking one is the ones a degree that's supposed to be about four years. Uh, someone obtained that degree within the mix of two months. And uh, But because of that uh, uh, certificate issues, Nigerians seek to ban degree from some countries like Kenya, Uganda, and also crack down some or some other institutions, especially from United States as well as UK as well. And Nigeria says that uh, they also want to extend the suspension of the degree accreditations to more countries, including Kenya as well as Uganda. And this come a day after the West African countries has been suspended the accreditation of degree from uh, from Benin as well as from Togo. And what is said from the uh, minister from Educations. Uh, Mamad uh, Tahi, we said yesterday that um, that he is going to come to extend the dragnets to countries like Uganda, Kenya, even Niger, where such institutions have been set up in Nigerians. The question is that uh, those institutions are they set up in their countries? Are they offering online uh, degree courses? Uh, allowing Nigerians to pay for some of these degree courses and unfortunately some of these degree courses are not up to accredited standards that is permitted in Nigerians. And we all know that the new directives is enforced in order to stop uh, fraudulent uh, qualifications from foreign degrees uh, following the exposed by daily uh, Nigerian newspapers because they carry out an investigation about some of this degree that was obtained. And the undercover investigations also indicated that uh, they obtained a degree for four years programs for Benin University under two months. So how on earth can somebody that's supposed to attain four years degree and eventually end up having two month certificate? Uh, so that's, that means that um, these universities that come into the countries offering this degree to Nigerians, they are all fake. And what the educational minister said that uh, he has no sympathy for those with fake certificates from foreign countries because they should have to have done their own due diligence. And there's no victim but part of this criminal chain that should have been arrested. And Nigerians have launched a formal investigation into the ministries and the agency that was responsible for accrediting academic qualifications that was obtained abroad without going through the proper uh, educational and approval standards and what the educational minister said that um, the measure would protect nigerians employers and employees and the integrities of the country's qualifications so we know how this one is going to go we know how this one is uh, whether this inf uh, this information how it's going to go and we'll continue to see however uh some Nigerians have, have came out, they voiced their own opinions that uh, if the securities are going uh, and after those that have a fake degree orders that obtains from foreign countries, they should completely start from the current president with Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, uh, the Nigerian Takus Educational Minister, according to what we know. And we know that there's a lot of controversy over the fake certificate from Benin Republic University that continued to revitalize the following that investigations report that was carried out by Nigerian daily newspapers. And they have asked the Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Mahmoud, to start his actions against fake certificate that was obtained with President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. But what we know is that in terms of the Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, his issues have been resolved. By the, uh, by the Chicago University, they have issues that Bola Ahmed Tunumbu actually attended the certificate and um, that the certificate that Bola Ahmed Tunumbu had is authentic. 
But uh, what we also know that the minister said that the security agency will go after Nigerians with fake certificates from foreign countries when they describe as a criminals. And, uh, and they also disclosed that while featuring on the channel televisions, that was, and they also noted that there were no time frames for criminality, saying the time of this criminal will not be matters. So the question is that uh, who is allowing these foreign countries to come into the countries, especially those countries that are not meeting the educational standards in Nigerians? They need to start scrutinizing these online educations that is obtaining and allowing Nigerians to go through it. And you have to understand that Nigerians are also paying a lot of money for these educations. And following the people uh, currently in the systems uh, who use fake foreign certificate to secure their position, if along the line we will trace that there are people already in the system, for instance, a particular institution operations have been operating, say in the last 10 years, and we check if we can re get record of Nigerians who attended the institutions. And when we do that, they are criminals that you know there is no time frame for criminalities and we will trace them. As long as we can lay our hands on their institutions and they are right here with us, certainly in the security agency, we go after them because they are criminals. And as I said, some Nigerians have went into the Twitters and voiced their own opinions. And once someone says that Tunumbu Minister of Education lack moral grounds to go after Nigerians with fake university certificate because Tunumbu is both submitted fake university certificates to INEC. And some others says that uh, let them start from the president. We know he's doing the job well. And some other says that first and foremost, you have to go after the president, Tunumbu, who lies about attending some uh, poor schools, Aruleye Government College in Ibadan and Chicago State University first before you guys begin to go after other certificates which are forged. And some other also said that uh, uh, begin with Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, uh, let it stand from the head. Arrest Tunumbu first, begin with your president. He is a certificate forger. And some other said, ask Tunumbu for this, if this is right. Tunumbu, Chicago University, and the minister should start with him, a drug dealer that was dragged as a president. And some other says that, that the minister of education will surely appreciate if you maintain justice and set the bar high for these operations. Chicago University should also be investigated too. So how long are we going to go through this Chicago University? Uh, this Chicago University has been put to down. We know the Chicago University have also indicated that our current president attended the university. And, uh, and they have some also said that they should start from the top. First of the leader, by example, let them start from the top. Nigeria has its way to redeem itself, but no we choose the size of deductions. And some other says that, please, if I feel so bad that a man could force us a certificate, it was to be proven, yet he is governor and it's too bad. Uh, they laying an example at those two objective questions that some someone want to sweep under the carpet. The carpet is too full, objective answer only. And someone said that then start with your INEC president, then we can take you serious. Corruption starts from the government. Why does the number stand in all this? Is it in support or against? And someone says that st start with the National Assembly, the House of Representatives. Many of them are using false certificate. And if you are not going to start from the president, then you are blah blabbing. So, but this is one of the controversy that's going on in the countries at this moment in time. To me, I just feel that uh, um, uh, for, yeah, if you say you should start from the president, but that is what the ministers have indicated. They find that there is a lapsus, there is a loopholes which foreign institutions, educational institutions are using in order to lure Nigerians to obtain face certificates and it's right for the Minister of Education to go after these institutions to make sure that at least they will not operate Nigerians if they cannot comply with the educational uh, standard that was laid by the country. 
and also to stop some of these countries exploiting Nigerians because at the end of the day, those students are going to pay enormous amounts of money to these institutions and um, also the kind of degree in which they obtain, we know they are not up to standards. Some of them doesn't even go through proper scrutinies. Some of them doesn't even have the, uh, the proper educational equipment, the standards, the facilities, the centers, and also the information that they also provide. So yeah, we have we want to maintain a very high standards in terms of our education. So in that case, we have to scrutinize and make sure that um, the educational standard that Nigerians receive at this moment in time is up to standards. Yes, I agreed with the Minister of Education. People that can voice their own opinions. Uh, let them start from the president. To me, it's not about the president. It's about uh, Nigerians uh, should start spending their money on a fake certificate. And this is what is going on, thing that is going on in the country. And hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you in the next news. And also, don't forget to share, subscribe, and thumbs up to our YouTube channels for more news going on in the country. Stay blessed. Bye for now.